The film begins with a large spaceship landing on our planet. It did not completely land on Earth and is now in the air. It is an alien spaceship, and humans were initially terrified of it. They speculated that there might be a terrible battle between humans and aliens. They believe the aliens come to Earth for occupying it in order to defend themselves. The humans attack the alien spaceship the aliens don't attack in return now many days passed neither the aliens come out nor they contact someone. This spaceship was hanging in the air. This spaceship was in South Africa, that's why different countries and companies were in contact with South Africa's government. Everyone was giving their opinion what should they do with those aliens. The aliens were not attacking and also not trying to contact them. The aliens have come here to find a new home because their home planet is being destroyed. Many alien leaders died when the humans attacked them and the remaining aliens were just younger aliens. They work on the orders of their leaders but now they have no leader so they are not doing anything. That's the reason they were still on their ship later, a huge company is shown. The company is collecting all the information about the aliens. An officer of this company is shown who was also a news reporter named Vikus. He tells in his interview that we will move into the alien spaceship soon. Then an army team is shown moving into the alien spaceship and millions of aliens were there. They find the aliens are weak and are not harming anyone. The scientists and the government investigating this matter and discover that if they want to send the spaceship back, they must first repair their spaceship. Even the engine of the spaceship also got missing during the attack. Now they are trying to find it but it is useless. The government decides the aliens will live on the earth until they return to their houses. For them, the location where their spaceship was suspended in the air was empty later, the area was named District 9. Many years had passed, and the aliens were still living on earth and if we talk about District 9 inches it was now the area of aliens. The aliens didn't harm humans, which is why humans also lived in District 9. They were not ordinary people but were goons who were doing many illegal tasks here. The goons were doing this on the orders of their leaders because the leader of the goons wants to take the aliens weapons he provides food to the aliens for this purpose and takes their weapons. The problem is the weapons don't work without aliens or their DNA. Any human can't use them even if he wants to. That's why the leader uses to eat the aliens meat after ending them. While thinking that their DNA will be incorporated into him and that he may use those weapons. It was useless. Most of the aliens come to the humans area from District 9 inches because of not getting food but they were restricted to come here. Because of the aliens actions, humans are concerned. The humans come on the roads to protest against aliens. They also questioned the government about why the aliens are still here and why they haven't been deported. Even the company that was collecting the info about aliens doesn't have the answer to this question. It was silent because the company was using the aliens for their purpose. They were also performing illegal experiments on those aliens. They want to occupy the weapons of the aliens to become more powerful in the world. Because of the public's concerns, the company decides that the aliens will be relocated. That new place will be named District 10. The head of the company was telling his officers how to shift the aliens to District 10. He makes his wise officer and reporter, Vikus, the leader of the mission then, with his companions, Vikus, moves to District 9 inches and requests the aliens to empty that location. He also informs the aliens how to live in District 10 inches but few aliens talk to him in anger. Even then he doesn't stop and continue his task during this, an alien named Christopher is shown with his son. For many years, he has been attempting to flee the earth and producing black fuel with a friend. Their alien spaceship will start with the help of the fuel, Christopher worked on it for years and it was finally ready. Christopher was overjoyed to see this because it meant they could finally move into their new home. The place where their companions live. Vikus reaches Christopher's house with his companions when he wasn't at home. He becomes surprised to see a small lab of Christopher and thinks that what are the aliens doing here? Which experiments are they performing here? 
Vikus finds the black fuel when he searched and it was a spray but mistakenly, it falls on Vikus's face. Vikus wipes his face immediately and takes it with him while keeping it. Christopher's companion also discovers that their years of hard work have resulted in the theft of the black fuel and none other than Vikus has taken it. He demands the black fuel from Vikus and his team and also becomes furious about it. Vikas and his team couldn't figure out who he was talking to or what he was saying. They shoot the alien memes, Christopher's friend and end him. Christopher was also seeing all this secretly but doesn't do anything later, Vikas's condition gets worse when he was in his office. When one of his nails falls off by itself, Vikas becomes alarmed. He moves to the washroom immediately and his another nail removes but Vikas couldn't understand what is happening to him. He moves to his house being panicked. His wife has organized a party to honor his leader rank. His condition worsens and he vomits black. He gets faint after it and he was in the hospital when he comes to his senses. He becomes surprised to see that his hand was changed completely. Now his hand is turned into an alien hand before Vikus could understand anything a few people take him with them. Later, he was given to the company in which he works. The company that was experimenting on aliens and now there will be experiments on Vikus as well. Here, Vikus sees many dead bodies of aliens and understands immediately that the experiments on aliens are held here. He doesn't know this company was doing this to get the alien weapons. When the scientists attempt to use the weapon with the alien hand of Vikus, they are successful means the weapon starts working. The whole team becomes happy to see themselves becoming successful. Now after it, many other experiments will be done on Vikus in which he may lose his life. The company's CEO was also informed, but it makes no difference to him whether someone is alive or dead. He simply wants to complete his mission, which Vikus understands that they will end him so as the scientist comes near him, Vikus attacks him and runs from there. The news was also not kind to Vikus, even it was said that there is Vikus's relationship with an alien. That's the reason for happening to him and he is changing now, Vikus gets shocked to hear this about him. People recognize him wherever he goes and try to avoid him. The army and the company are behind him to catch him as soon as possible. In these circumstances, Vikus has only one place to hide, District 9. Reaching there, he calls his wife and tells her everything but she wasn't believing him. Vikas breaks down and becomes enraged at himself. He picks up an axe and tries to separate his alien hand. He hasn't the courage to do so but he hardly separates his finger. After doing this, he experiences severe pain and then sees many helicopters that were looking for him. He hides in a house to save himself. He meets Christopher and seeing his hand, Christopher realizes he has stolen their black fuel. He asks Vikas about the fuel, but before Vikas can tell him anything, he faints. Christopher takes him to a lab in the basement that was made by him. Vikas comes to his senses and Christopher asks him about the fuel but Vikas refuses to tell him anything. Christopher says okay, don't tell me but I can make you fine but I will need the fuel to make you fine and if you want to recover so give me that fuel. Vikas agrees to deliver the fuel, but it is already in use by the company in their lab. Going there wasn't easy, and the meaning of going there is death. Vikas wants to be fine at any cost so they make a plan and Christopher tells we will need weapons for doing this. The government has taken all of our weapons but we can take weapons from the gang of goons. The leader recognizes Vikas as he sees that he is the man who is a half-alien. The leader thinks he will eat the meat of Vikas's hand while separating it so he may use alien weapons because of it. He asks his companions to separate his hand but during this, Vikas finds an alien weapon and using it, he ends all the goons' companions who were standing there. Then he escapes with that weapon but before leaving the goons leader warns him that I will find you. Now, Vikus and the alien, Christopher, moves to the company's building with the weapon and attack the people present there while using the weapon. 
none compete with them while seeing them having the alien weapon. Then, Vicus and Christopher move to the place where Vicus was kept and they finally become successful to take that fuel spray. The company's people were still behind them so they again moved to the secret lab of Christopher. After it, Vicus asks Christopher, how long it will take me to become fine when we will move to your spaceship. Christopher replies almost three years but Vicus becomes worried to hear this and says you said you will make my hand fine. Now you are saying it will take three years and it's a long time period. Christopher says I have to save my companions first. But, Vickers, says you deal with me first and make me well then you will go to your house and companions. Christopher, says I can't leave my companions for someone else experiment as I have seen in the lab what is their behavior with aliens. So trust me and I promise I will be back. Right now try to understand it is important for me to leave. Vickers becomes worried and hits, Christopher, a wooden piece because of it, he faints. Vicus moves downside into the lab while holding the fuel bottle the place where their engine was. Christopher comes to his sense and the people of the company also arrive here. Vicus gives the spray bottle to Christopher's son and the engine starts as they apply it. It starts working now, Vicus will start it but suddenly, the earth starts shaking. The engine comes upstairs but before it could fly the company people leave their missile. It hits the engine and it gets blasted due to it. The company's people capture Vicus, but Christopher's son hides there. Meanwhile, many goons arrive and they take Vicus from there forcefully to their leader. The goons' leader says to Vicus, I said I will find you and look I did the same. After it, they take him inside for separating his hand and an alien robot attacks them when they were about to separate his hand. This robot was controlled by Christopher's son and it saves Vicus while ending everyone. The robot opens and Vicus starts operating it while sitting inside it. Even the people of the company attacks it and shoot many bullets but it wasn't affecting. Vicus says from within the robot, I didn't do anything bad to others, so leave me alone and let me go. They stop shooting hearing this and Vicus also leaves from there after it. The company's people beat Christopher and ask about their planning. They were about to end him when he doesn't tell them anything. Meanwhile, Vicus returns and saves Christopher while ending everyone. Then he takes him towards that engine. There were many attacks on them before reaching there and the robot stops working. It gets damaged and Vicus asks Christopher to leave I will handle all of them. Christopher says no I will not go without you but Vicus says do understand what I am saying and move to your home. As we have worked hard and I don't want our hard work to be wasted. Christopher promises him okay I promise I will be back after three years. After it, he hardly reaches the engine while escaping from the attacks. Later, he reaches his alien spaceship with its help after it, Vicus fights with many people and ends many of them. Meanwhile, Aka hits him and he falls at a far distance. His robot stopped working because of it but then an officer of the company moves to him and finds Vikus a half-human and half-alien. Many aliens arrive and end him when he was about to end Vikus. Vikus sees Christopher and his son were escaping in the alien spaceship and he was overjoyed as a result. The scene is then shown in the story months later everyone was talking about Vikus. Vickers went missing, and no one knows where he is now. Later, Vickers' wife explains, while holding a metal flower, that she frequently receives those flowers and I know that Vickers places those flowers for me. Then an alien is shown after it making a metal flower here we discover the alien is none other than Vickers. He is changed into an alien completely and he hopes that Christopher will return one day and make him well again. This is where the movie ends.